Hey guys, here's the 20 gallon. I just wanted to give a quick update um, just because this has the most fry changing, I guess. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, down here newly born red velvet swords. Um, they're the ones with absolutely no color. You kind of see them specked around here. And then the other ones are a couple weeks old. I think the oldest ones, uh, the bigger ones, are about three weeks old. Um, I put some some of the biggest ones in the 225 because they look like they could be okay and uh, those were a little over a month old so uh, and they were from the same mom as these ones so it looks like they're breeding about or are gonna give birth about once every month and uh, so that's been that's been pretty fun and interesting and uh, everything seems to be going well I mean the fry are growing out well and uh, the cherry shrimp are doing great too there's a bunch uh, of buried buried shrimp in here um, there's one right right there in the middle um, there's one up front here that's buried that one and there's a there's one on the filter in there that's buried uh, there's a couple there's one over here I know that's buried that I can just see right now so these guys are, are going crazy and and uh, you know breeding like cherry shrimp so it's kind of expected but it's kind of nice I mean you, you give them no predators and plenty of job moss and they'll do a good job for you and then uh, the long fin albino bristle nose are doing well too they're growing pretty decently um, he's got a fat belly on him and I, I really haven't noticed a lot of losses they do well in this tank too um, they'll eat the brine shrimp and and some of the flakes and I'll, I'll throw some zucchini in here and and algae wafers and it's nice because the cherry shrimp just eat up whatever doesn't get eaten so I don't have to worry quite as much about overfeeding um, I still got to be aware of it but it's not as big of a deal um, there's a bunch of little shrimp in here too but it's, it's always hard to film those guys so I'm not even gonna try but yeah there's a little one up there that looks like it's got eggs too so yeah I just want to give an update this tanks doing real well and uh, yeah it's it's growing up like crazy there's a bunch of fry in here um, kind of updates on, on the egg tumbler stuff, just in case you were, some people were wondering, but, uh, the Ventralis eggs, none of them worked out. They all kind of withered away and died. I don't think they were fertilized, so that was kind of disappointing, but, uh, that's okay. And then the, but the Parasipochromis, they worked out. I got six fry, um, because the female is actually holding a couple more still, so, uh, that's that's going good. They're growing out in another tank below the 10 gallon. It's kind of hard to see them in there because they're still kind of small, but uh, they're doing good. So uh, yeah, just kind of growing out everything and see how it goes. I, I saw the ple the pleco bristle nose look like he might be ready to spawn again here soon, and and uh, hopefully I'll get some more more pleco fry. So thanks for watching.